Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Olds for RTG. And yesterday we had some major problems, not just with the team, but a few players that we brought in. And more importantly, that weekend league record was horrifying. Eight and four. And I was reading through the comment section though, and a few people were saying, oh, Fuji complain about his record when I can't even get six wins. It's all relative to how you perform. Let's say you were a goal two player and you've dropped down to silver one. You're gonna be upset. And that's the way I felt. My heart was breaking. When I saw eight and four, I was broken and I had to take a big break and I had to recover that and I went and purchased a couple of players, brought them into the starting 11 and they're going to save us this weekend. Already, I can feel the difference and I'm looking forward to the last 10 games. We've been able to recover it just about with 15 and 5. We win the last 10, we get Elite 2. That's going to be a miracle. Like I will gladly accept Elite 3 or even Gold 1 at this point, but Elite 3 is definitely the aim. So two players that I got rid of, like Human Sun 397, my intention wasn't to get rid of him so soon, but it was a silly purchase and that's something that I'll have to accept. I was off form in the weekend league. I don't know what was happening. Probably gameplay, the way I was playing, my formation, tactics, you name it. A lot is obviously contributing to our performance or lack of performance. And you look at Human Sun's dribbling. In the draft, he's good. So... I was thinking, all right, I'll purchase him for our weekly side, see if he uh, performs, and he just didn't, you know? He, he's just a little bit too clunky for my liking. And uh, that's the issue on FIFA 20. It's always been the case, though. A lot of players in the draft who perform, you get them into the weekend league, and they're just different players. And Griezmann was good, though. I really did enjoy his finishing, but he could only get me so far. And then when I really do need that pace to, like, beat past the better players in that camp position, he just didn't really offer that. So Neymar has been brought back to the middle, and yeah, it's working really, really well. So boys, if you are new around here, if you can hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell to not miss a single episode from myself. And if you can also leave a like, that'd be much appreciated. 2,000, 3,000 would be awesome. And we've got a new SPC to go and take a look at. Who's been released, boys? The RTG legend has been released. And it's like EA heard me. I was asking for a Road to the Final Canate to be released in either Batch 1 or Batch 2, uh, and they brought him out as an SBC. Even better, right? So we get an untradeable version and we don't have to think about selling him or losing coins. I'd never sell him anyway. The disrespect, you do not want to sell this man. Six foot four, high tie work grades, and I bought him for as low as 900 at the start of the RTG, and he was performing very, very well. He reminds me of Eden Melateo. Like the stats you see on their regular versions, nothing too special, but it's the way they perform in game. This guy just has the ability to read the play, to get those tackles in, and clutch up big time with that 87 sprint speed. So am I going to do him? 100% I'm going to do him. But the one thing that I've got to keep in mind is that the market is a little bit high right now because of this SBC, Team of the Week Upgrade. The 83, the 84s are very, very expensive. This is two days remaining. So once that gets removed, will the 83 and 84s come down because I have six days to do Kanate. So let's say in three days time, Kanate is going to be brought to the RTG and his stats aren't anything special right now, but he's been given a little bit of an upgrade on already an overpowered card. Well, he was overpowered. I haven't used him for a very long time now, but with an upgrade also that's a guarantee because uh, his team's doing very well in the Champions League, that's an 84 rated card for maybe uh, 30,000, 40,000 coins. Like if you're putting this team together from scratch, like both of them, uh, in total, it's gonna set you back about 90,000. So that's with an inflated market. So once it drops, you might have to only spend, uh, let's say, 65,000, 60,000. And with some of the untradeables that I'm preparing to submit, I think we're gonna, we're gonna be able to get this guy for about 30K, which is a good price, right? 30,000, he's gonna be an 84 overall. And then obviously the potential to get another couple of upgrades. I'm obviously gonna be using him, boys, in our weekend league squad. So instead of maybe like Edem and Ateo, I'll have Kanate alongside Ramos or Kanate alongside whoever, and I still need to get Mbabu. I think later tonight, let me just check quickly how many uh, day, oh, don't look at the team. How many days do I have to complete this man? Where is it? It is one day, four hours. Okay, later tonight, I have to do that then. 100% boys, I've got score battles, six, six score battle wins. Oh man, that kind of sucks. I don't want to play squad battles. Oh, hold on. Icon swapped. Oh, no, I've already done that. Okay, sweet. Um, and a lot of people have been asking me about my season progress. Someone laughed at the fact that I was only on page two. 
right? And I don't think that I'm going to be grinding uh, this season as much as I did the last one, because I'm not really interested in these cards anymore. Like Danilo, Yeltsin Martins, Oxley Chamberlain. I, I feel like maybe you're going to have the option to upgrade them somehow. Like EA haven't really released that information yet. They're not transparent with us. So would it be a bit of a risk not getting an Oxlade Chamberlain or Yelsa Martins? I really am not sure because the road to the final cards are just better. And by the time we get an Oxlade Chamberlain in 33 days, uh, the chance of having another promo that's just a lot better than these road to the final cards um, is, is a possibility. But what have we done to the squad boys? Two players or three players have been brought back. Now, I was wanting a little bit of consistency as well as bringing in a beast. Kante is back, boys. 324,000. I should never have got rid of this guy. Nine games already played, and the difference, having him alongside someone like a Petit, it is amazing. The best partnership so far. 91 stand tackle, 92 interceptions. The guy is one of the best at tackling on this game. No question about that. So with Petit's uh, chem style, though, he feels a lot better with the shadow. The acceleration sprint speed I noticed straight away because when I first brought him to the club, I was using the engine chem style and I have a play with Petit in good gameplay, bad gameplay. So I really felt the difference when I applied that shadow chem style. So with his uh, tackling, yeah, it's just been boosted even more now and he is a brick wall. So these two together are definitely gonna uh, keep and add the composure to the starting 11. We've got Salah though, a fresh purchase and he's got quite a few goals in nine games like he's scoring more goals right now than sterling he's met he missed his fair share though yesterday i think that's just the game though it doesn't really make any difference who you have like inside the box at that given moment in time if ea decides that you're gonna miss you're gonna miss you know i, I could have neymar i could have even kante well kante does score quite a few but 236,000 uh four star skills he's got a three star weak foot similar to Sterling, but the finishing 90, the attack positioning, uh, the dribbling, the stamina, a bit of strength as well. I'm liking Salah. And he's playing as our right attacking mids. Uh, we've got Lucas back in the starting 11. And trust me, man, I don't want to be using this guy, but he's just broken. And he's one of the best cards to go for right now. And it's ridiculous. I can get more out of Lucas than I can a Griezmann, a human son. Like, it doesn't make sense, but it just works. And then with uh, Neymar playing as our cam. Now, I was going through some main major tactic, uh, tactical changes as well last night. I was playing uh, press on heavy touch. I was doing everything to try and get back into these games. So now I'm testing. I know it, it doesn't seem right, me trying out some custom tactics that I don't even know what they're going to do. But long ball, I've been advised to use that if I want to start playing a little bit faster in a 4-2-3-1. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Balance, balance, uh, and a long ball. So Let's get into some games, boys. We're 15 and 5 in the weekend league. Have we got fitness? No, 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 no. Do I have to go buy fitness cards? Yes, I do. All right, let me get that done. And we're going to be moving into some live games. Surely it can't be as bad as it was yesterday. Pray for me right now. Give me some hope in the comment section. Can we do this? Right, we're ready. Fitness cards have been purchased. We are 15 and 5 in the weekend league. Can we recover? Let's go, boys. Well, I am on the path to recovery, the road to recovery. Petit, Kante, step up today. We're going to start with the 4-2-3-1, test out this long ball tactic to see if it really adds anything to my starting 11. And then we're going to be going from there. So first game, pray for me right now. Don't be a mega team. Base Aguero, interesting. Now, I do like the ultimate screen Aguero. I was very close to making the purchase on the RTG, in fact. But I didn't have enough coins. I would have had to sell Neymar. Not a good idea. Yes. Wow. How defensive is his back line? No, no, EA. Come on, please. Help me out. Help a brother out. Don't you dare allow him to get away with this. If I get a shot off, then give me a goal. Yeah, this guy's mad, mad, mad. Oh, Lucas. Drag back. Lucas. He's back. Leave Lucas alone. Don't you dare say in the comment section, drop him. This man knows where the goal is. And we are against a very defensive player right now. Lucas, I love you. Oh, no, Martial. That's a good ball. Aguero. Well done, Alex Tellez. Come on, man. He's been one of the best performing players this weekend. Thank you very much for your service. Kante. Now, is this guy going to start pushing out a little bit more? I'm very pleased, though, that I got that first goal. That's really, really important. I can see 
Neymar making that run. All right, I'm getting a little bit more from my players now. I don't know if it's the tactics or if it's just the way uh, this team is playing right now. And I have more pace in my team. Probably that. You know, I need pace. Oh, God's sake. Well done, well done, well done. Keep that defense up. This guy is very, very tricky right now. Oh, Ramos. Thank you. Oh, he is tricky uh, around the edge of my box right now. I've got to be careful. That's a nice pass. No, 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 no. Yes, well played. Yeah, he's very defensive, but he's a good player. Uh, I've got to be careful of this. It's not going to be an easy game. What a ball over the top. What is he doing? Yo, I can't. I can't take advantage of that, though. Salah. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Yes, well played. Dembele. Come on. Kante is going to be the game changer for us this weekend. Please, Kante. Come in and help us. Spin him. Yes. Pass across. Lucas. You know, Lucas. So consistent in front of goal. And it's going to be a rage quit. A GG. Yeah, he was decent, though. Very, very tricky in the attack. But a little bit too defensive, I think. And that was uh, his problem. His downfall. He was inviting way too much pressure there. And it's going to be a GG, boys. Yes, come on. I need these results, man. All right. Petit and Kante together, though. That is... Uh, Lockdown. Another win, please. Oh, three icons? Uh-oh. Eventually, we'll find a way through. Spreading the play quite well. Through ball. Nah, those through balls, man. I, I need to just ignore playing the through ball on this game. Just play it with an A pass defeat. Otherwise, it's just going to screw you up big time. Uh, keeper's got that. There you go. Through ball. Prime example. No! Keeper! Oh, I nearly got screwed over already. My God, I've only played one game. Mine. Yes, Mohamed Salah. So he's got a bit of strength. Water ball. Mohamed Salah. Finish. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. He, he did well enough. Uh-oh. Player switch to Petit. Oh, I couldn't get him. And now it's opened up. See, that's the problem. Yes. All right. So four, four triple two, boys. That's what we're going to switch up to. Penalty. Oh, it's a pen. Come on. Penalty, but am I going to miss it? You know, am I going to choke this opportunity? Most likely. Ramos, Ramos, Ramos. No! Oh my God, what a chance to get back into the game and I've absolutely choked it. I bottled it, boys. Damn, for Christ's sake, this game is going to be the death of me, I swear. Petit! Alex Sellers. Mohamed Salah. Dembele. Oh. I've had about three, four chances in this game right now. None of them have gone in, unfortunately. That's nearly another heavy touch. Lucas. Hill to Hill. Lucas, finesse, 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 finesse. Half time it is, boys. And we're losing the game after I've had at least three clear-cut opportunities. And that's what I'm not understanding. I don't mind conceding a couple of goals, but I've got to take mine. Neymar, please get it out your feet. Please, please, please. Turn. Thank you, Salah. Get up the pitch. Through, through, through. Oh, Salah, please. Across goal. No, 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 no. Sh <gasps> Come on. Thank you, Lucas. And he knows I'm finding it difficult to get the ball out of my feet. That's where I'm having issues. Oh, my God. If that were... Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Please, 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 please. What a crap goal. What a mess. Yes. What a finish. That was so weird, man. I don't think I've ever scored a goal like that. It's gone through his legs. Lucas left it. Look at that nutmeg. Hey, Lucas. Oh, no, it didn't. It just went past him. Hey. No. Abami, no. Play switch. That's a goal, isn't it? Ah, good finish. That's a goal. Neymar's there. Pass it into his feet. Yes. Lucas Mora. <laughs> Let's go. Lucas, oh why? If I didn't bring him back, no way would I be re recovering this uh, weekly record. Like, what is this card? What is he? Yes, yes, yes. Right, Salah, spin. Good Salah. Well played. Completely did his man. We need one more goal to make sure of it. Neymar inside the box. Lucas again. Hat trick for Lucas. You know, you can't write this stuff. 4-2. Thank God, man. Back-to-back -back wins in the weekend league. Can we get elite this weekend? Can we? It's going to be tough, but 
I felt like I should have put that game to bed. I had a penalty miss. I had three chances like after that. It's one of those games where I'm not really taking uh, taking my chances, but a hat trick for Lucas, like what a card. So all that we need is six wins from eight. Six wins. I think I can achieve that. And with the team of the week, someone said that Ronaldo could feature. And if he is in the lineup, then obviously I'd like that team of the week pack just to attempt to pull him. It seems to be an impossible task just to get a 50, 60K player. But I do want that extra red pick as well, just in case. That could be the difference. So six wins from eight. Just as well we didn't lose that last game or the game before, you know. Uh, having two games to fall back to gives me a bit more breathing space and it allows me just to focus on the games without any added stress. Now, if I had to win my last eight, uh, well, I do for Elite Two, but I'm not really thinking of that right now. So it's just perfect. We're in a good position to be pushing. And with the changes that we made to the starting 11, it has helped me out. Just bringing back Lucas. And I don't know why, right? He is just so broken in front of goal. He's like bringing the consistency, even though he gets affected with these awful like RNG shots. Like one of them that I took was in the first game or the second game, a finesse inside the box completely misses the target. Fair enough. But is there anyone that would be better than Lucas for around like 150, 200,000 coins? I just can't see it. And before the patch, uh, when the finesse shots up on the edge of the box and outside the box were viable, this guy right had a consistent finish there. Inside the box, he's lethal one of the best cards on the game. He is the most overpowered player that I have used on uh, FIFA 20. He is similar to that Martial from FIFA 17. Like, I'm being genuine. This card is absolutely broken. And just going back to him, he has really, like, saved us um, already. Like, I can feel it and it's coming. And then with Kante as well, bringing in even more quality alongside Petit, it is just awesome. And uh, I'll give Salah a bit of credit. He does feel quite nice going down the line. I, I don't feel like he's as quick as Sterling, but there is a little bit more control like when he's inside the box going for those shots unless the game's just screwing him over i think i'm going to be able to get um a lot more goals and and consistent finishes with him when i've cut inside and i'm inside the box on his left whereas sterling he, he is good um sterling's finesse shots mm, I, I don't know really sterling had that shot across goal and near post whereas salah i think he can do it all so that's really the difference that i've uh, noticed between um the, the two cards so really happy that i went and purchased uh salah We'll see how he gets on uh, with the remaining games. Like now he's on seven chemistry because I've played um, 11 with the card. So with these upgrades right here, this little triangle, I think this will be the difference of getting Elite 3 or not. Now, I hope that I can provide you guys with some really nice rewards on Thursday. So the grind is upon us. And yeah, we need to get six wins from eight. Come on, boys. I could six wins. I can do that. I really can. But thank you very much for watching, boys. Let me know your weekend league record. Have you had one of the best weekend leagues? Have you had one of the worst ones? Because this has hit me hard and it's made me realize like we need to sort out tactics. We need to not start using like crappy players. We need to bring in quality because everyone else is improving and we're being left behind. So with this team, it is capable of an elite three finish. Let's get it. But thank you for watching. Leave a like and I will see you boys on the next one. Team out. Peace.